Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Had you feel really led of the beautiful ladies and beautiful girls in your character creator for to create any of the beautiful ladies and girls 3D avatar for your 3D animation and 3D modeling? And for today, I'm going to share its African beauties as the high quality headshot photo for your character creator for. And you can just scroll down, go to my video descriptions to get the African Beauty Headshot Pack 01. You go and download this. This is a zip file. Once you download it as a zip file, you have to extract it into, into the folder. Now, at the beginning, it is a zip file. Extract it into the folder. Now you can see there are totally eight of them, eight beautiful African ladies and girls. I view with the large icon. You can see they are really high quality headshot picture. And what you need is the headshot plugins and character creator for. And as demo, I'm going to open open it. This is my character creator for. I already have the headshot plugin. I click on that. The first step, you have to select the auto and then choose one of them. For example, if I choose, if I choose her, drag into here and next I choose the female. The skin type, choose no mask and click generate. And now the headshots plugin is an AI plugin. It is going to read the high quality headshot picture and make it become a 3D avatar in your character creator for. And now it is generating the, the 3D mesh, etc. Later, you can just export it, export it as FBX file so that you can use it in other third party 3D modeling software or 3D animation software. Just for example, the Unreal Engines, the Blender, Autodesk Maya, etc. Now, this one's 10 texture file, fail to load. This one is okay, it doesn't matter. Just click OK. It is not a problem for me. And here we are waiting for a while. Now it is generating the mesh. It depends on your computer speed if you have a, a high speed computer with a strong CPU and also strong GPU, it can generate very fast. Now you have to just wait for a while until it really generate. It just left a few seconds, I think, and updating the results. This is performed by the AI in the headshot plugin. Now almost ready. If it disappear, most means it almost ready already. Now you can see it already generate a 3D avatar for you. The first step, I will just go to the content, go to go to the animations, and I will select select a post. I will select a T post so that I can I can view it easily. Now and back to the headshot. Compare with this picture. The first step. You can see this face is quite a little bit fat, so I will come to here. To adjust the morph, I will just go to the head shot under the head and face width, I will just decrease it. Decrease the face width. Now, once done already, you can change the hairstyle if you want because the head shot will only generate a low quality hairstyle. But if you want to keep keep like this, it's okay. Now, it exactly generate the, the type of the face that you want. And now it's your time to just, just adjust the face. Now, it, it looks better. Here, all of this morph like face, lower width, and also the head width. Don't adjust the head width. Adjust the face width, it's okay, better. Face lower width and also the face width. Now, it looks like the 
high quality headshot picture. Now, once you're done already, just go to the content, give some clothes. So for example, a shirt. Give her a shirt. Give her a pant. And then give her a shoes. Okay, once done already, next you look at the, the original hairstyle. You have some penetrations, you can just go to click the modified, conform, calculate the collisions to make everything better. Right. So if you want to export it as FBX file, it is easy. Before that, you need to save it. Click file, save as. Save the project as a CC project next time. You still can open this project by using the character creator form. I will save it on my desktop as demo. And then, if you want to export it as FBX file, it is just exporting like this. Click File, Export the FBX cloth character. And here, you can choose the target tool preset. For example, if you want the Unreal Engines, each type of the FBX, you can just choose the software that you want. For example, Unreal Engine, the mesh emotions, etc. With the current pose or the calibrations, you can export it as FBX file to save it like this. Okay, this one can be African, female, 01. So save it. It will export it as FBX file and later you can use it in third-party software like Blender, Unreal Engine, Maya, etc. to perform more on 3D modeling and also the 3D animations. And you also can send this avatar to iClone it to perform the 3D animations. It is perfect. Right. So totally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, totally eight of the beautiful African ladies, African girls, African females, or African beauties. You can just get a headshot picture from, from the video description, the first link. And then you can also make them become the main avatar because they are quite nice looking face. All right. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my sharing and tutorial, if you do all this, sharing and tutorial are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing. See you.